Yo, what's up everyone? It's Little Yaha. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a humidity dome simple, quick, and easy for an extremely cheap price. I got this bin for $15 and you can get some that are $10 or even $5 and they'll only be slightly smaller. The reason I decided to make my own was because my budget was $30 and any decent humidity dome that looked like it was well made and would last more than just one grow were anywhere from $50 to $100. Anything under $50 was too flat flimsy and not the right size or tall enough they were just very cheaply made all right everyone so the first thing i'm gonna do is make the two air vents for the top and i got lucky i had these clean wipes in my house because the top was the perfect size that i needed for the vents if you look closely at the top you can see that i drew what looks like a half a donut and i'll be cutting and explaining that later but just look at how easy it was for me to clip this off of the container now that i did that my vent is basically almost done even if you don't have these exact wipes you don't necessarily have to go out of your way and buy them although you could i was also thinking of using the clear top from a pringles can or you can use any big bottle container or even a cup like this that's see-through clear and made out of plastic just so it can be easier for you to cut around i also recommend you drawing out your circle before you cut it the way i'm gonna cut this is by heating up a razor with a torch and be careful not to cut or burn yourself and the purpose for doing this is is just so I can poke a big enough hole so my scissors can fit. The way I drew this was by drawing a line down the exact middle and the diameter of this is about four inches. I also put a dot in the middle of the line and a half circle around it and notice how it's more of an oval shape and that's because I'm going to be placing a screw in the middle of the circle and I wanted to give it some room to prevent the screw from cracking the plastic. I also got lucky that the bin I bought came with two marks in the exact same spots I wanted my vent so I guided myself based off of that. I got a long screw and torched it up. Be careful when doing this, you don't want to burn yourself. I poked a hole through the humidity dome where the mark was and on the cap that I just made. The reason for doing this is not only to make it easier for you to place a screw in there, but it also helps prevent the plastic from cracking. That's very important if you want it to look clean and without any cracks in it. Because you don't want to go through all this and then your thing just cracks and you got to do it all over. You're going to screw both of them in and in this case, the smaller the screw, the better you just need enough screw to penetrate to the other side but there should be no reason why this falls off and this also spins very smoothly i used the clipboard to make sure that they were straight and aligned together i also traced the inside with a marker just so i can know where to cut out i had to remove everything before i started cutting and it was a lot easier this time all i had to do was poke it little by little and be careful not to cut yourself or to crack the plastic do this carefully i cleaned out anything that was left from the marker and i also put everything back together as soon as it was done this thing looked fresh honestly i didn't expect it to come out this clean this is what you're basically gonna use to control your humidity you're gonna lower or higher as you desire but stay tuned i will have a video showing you how to start from seed or clone using this humidity dome so you can not only know how i use it but so you can also know that it actually works this is what my setup would look like if i had plants or clones in here and by the way the exact size of this humidity dome is 14 inches tall by 27 inches in length and 17 inches wide stay tuned for next week's video where i'm gonna have a complete step-by-step -step cloning guide showing you all about lighting humidity temperature watering and i'm also be trying out several types of cloning methods to see which one's faster and or better all right everyone so this is gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you aren't already so you can get notified every time I post and as always remember be good people